Hello Stampin' Friends, this is Jeannie Moss. I'd like to welcome you to my studio here in the Bluegrass State of Kentucky, where we will be making this cute little center easel card. So it's a birthday card, and the front pops up to stand up as an easel. So this is what we're doing today, and let's get started. First, you'll need some supplies. You'll need a card base. Uh, this is Knight of Navy. It's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored. It's good. We're going to score it at four and a quarter on the long side. You'll also need a piece of DSP. This is four by four and three quarters. You'll need some scraps. This is going to be for our circle, and then you'll need an inside of the card. Uh, this is three by four, and I've already cut this. This is a Knight of Navy uh, circle cut from the Stylish Shapes uh, set of dies. We're going to be using the Circle Sayings Bundle. That's this one. It comes with a stamp set and a punch. So we'll be using both the stamp set and the punch. We're also going to be using DSP, some designer series paper. And the paper we're going to be using is from this delightfully eclectic designer series paper. This is a huge set of paper. It has 48 sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So this is located on page 129 of the annual catalog. And we're gonna be using the pattern, this pattern that has the uh, little flowers. We've got some pinks and some uh, fresh freesia and some Knight of Navy flowers. So this is the DSP we'll be using. Get that out of the way. All right, first thing we're going to do we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I've already done some stamping so that you don't have to watch everything. Uh, on this piece that's three by four, I've stamped happy birthday. And then I have this square. And this is a two and three quarter inch square. I'll be stamping in Night of Navy. And I'm gonna stamp this circle, celebrate. And then I'm going to stamp the cupcake inside, but the cupcake I'm going to stamp in Memento Tuxedo Black because I'm going to color this with our blends. And so when you're using blends, you want to use the Memento ink pad. So I'm just gonna stamp that in the center. And then one more thing to stamp, and that's, I'm going back to the Knight of Navy. And the stamp set has this floral, uh, circular florals, and I only need the center. So I only need the big flower in the center, so I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper to protect my surface. And I've got just a little scrap. Uh, there it is of white, and I'm just going to ink up the, that flower that's in the center and stamp it on that little scrap, and that's the only thing I need for that, is that. So I'm gonna put that to the side for right now, and our stamping is finished. Next, I used my blends to color the cupcake. So I used the Knight of Navy blends and the um, Bubble Bath blends and my Daffodil, Dark Daffodil Delight blend. And when I use my blends, I like to put the um, darker color on first and that'll be kind of a shading. So that would go in the places where there wouldn't be quite so much light. So I'm gonna put that along the bottom of these uh, of the icing, the layers of icing. So I'm gonna do something kind of like that. And then I'll go back with the light color 
and I'll just fill that in and kind of blend with that darker color. So that I have something that looks like this. And so you can see that it has some uh, dark and light area, areas that give it a little shading and a little more lifelike, realistic look. I'm not gonna make you watch the rest of that because I've done one in advance. And I did the same thing. I colored along the bottom with the dark navy and then I used the light navy and pulled up the, um, the color. And then I used the daffodil for the actual cake part of the cupcake. So that's the uh, focal point of our card. And I'll be taking the punch that coordinates with this stamp set. And I'm just going to line that up inside the punch. Center it as best you can. And punch. And there's our cupcake. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach this to that navy circle that I had already previously cut. All right, and then the little flower, I use the yellow blends in the center and then I fussy cut this out. So that means that I, there's no dye for it. That means I took my scissors and I cut this, this main flower out. And I've already done that, so you didn't have to, to watch that as well. So that's already been cut and colored. And now we're ready to work on our card. So I'm gonna bring in the paper score the simply scored and we're going to score this card base at four and a quarter so that's half of the eight and a half which is just our regular card base and then i'm going to bring in my paper trimmer And I'm going to trim this on the front of the card at one and a half inches and one and a half inches on this side would be four inches on this side. So I'm going to line that up at the four inch mark here and I'm going to score up to the score line. And then I'm going to move it into the one and a half inch mark. And that will cut the other side at one and a half inches. And again, I'm just going up to the score line. Didn't quite go far enough. All right. So now I have my card that looks like this. I'm also going to cut my paper. So this is the paper that's going to go on the front of the card. So I'm going to cut one and a quarter inch off each end. Now you could just cut one and a quarter, two strips, but if your pattern is, is uh, directional, like if you want the pattern to flow across the card, you'll want to cut off of each end. It's not so important on this because it's such a small pattern and random, but if you were, had something with big flowers or a big pattern or balloons or something, you would want to be sure that you were uh, cutting off the ends. So we are going to do one and a quarter, from each end. So there's one end, and then we're going to do one and a quarter on the other end. Oops. So those are the two side pieces. And then this is gonna be our center piece, and it's gonna be kind of the same way. We're gonna cut a piece out of the center of this. So we're going to cut this piece at one and seven eighths from the end. 
and then we're going to turn it around and we're going to cut one and seven eighths from the other end so that basically what we're doing is taking that strip out of the center of this piece and this gets thrown away so that's our cutting and like i said it's not so crucial on this piece but if you had if you had a, a different kind of pattern you would definitely want um want that to be lined up so let's see here how this goes There we go. So now you can see how the pattern continues on this piece and how we've cut that center piece out. So those are our pieces. I'm gonna just move those over to the side. One more thing we're gonna do with this card base. We are going to put it back into our scoring tool we're gonna close these two outer flaps and we're going to score that center flap at two and one eighth. So that is half of this center flap. So two and one eighth. Scoring right across there. And now we are finished with this guy. So now we're ready to start putting our card together and I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere the paper DSP strips onto the card. And I'm just using the um, multi-purpose glue to do that. If you prefer tape runner, the seal, stamp and seal, you can definitely use that. This is an impressive card, but it's very easy. So it, it uh, when your recipient gets it, I hope they'll know to pop that up. I'm, I'm sending this to, to somebody and I'm wondering if I should put a little note in there about how to pop up the center or if they'll just figure that out. I don't know. What do you think? All right, so there's our DSP. Now we're going to open the card up and that white panel that I stamped the happy birthday on, I'm gonna put that right into the center of this. You wanna just make sure that it goes beyond those flaps. And I have a little bit of a border at the top and a little bit of a border at the bottom. So we'll just glue this in. And now we're going to glue these flaps down. All right, and we are almost finished. Now we'll close our front flap. We wanna bend that because that's gonna be the point of the easel. That's what's gonna make that pop up. And now we're ready to attach this to the front of the card. So you want to, I'm gonna use uh, dimensionals, but I wanna make sure that I keep the dimensionals only on the bottom part of this card. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm not on the top and I'm just gonna add dimensionals here. And that way, when I put this on the card, my card will be able to turn into an easel. If I put dimensionals all over the back, then I'm going to seal that card flat. So now we'll just center that. And there shouldn't be any dimensionals. Oh, oh there's one hanging over. Let me, let me adjust him a little bit. I'm going to move him down just a little bit. All right, so now there's our card and there's our little easel. Um, you'll need to put a 
we'll put a dimensional on the back of this little flower and this is going to be our stopper so this is going to tell us where once this gets loosened up a little bit where is this going to stop so you'll you'll set that where you want it to be and you'll just put that little flower right there and he's popped up with a dimensional so that's going to be the little stopper that's what's going to hold that card up the last thing I did, I took my Wink of Stella. Gotta love Wink of Stella. It's sparkly, it's a sparkly, clear, sparkly paint. And I just colored, I just painted that sparkle onto the frosting of the cupcake. And that is it. This card is finished. So it's a cute little way to do a, a pop-up card um, without much effort and without a whole lot of supplies. So I hope you've enjoyed this little card. If you have any questions, you can email me at, w, at bluegrassstamper at gmail.com. If you'd like to visit my website for additional projects, uh, that address is www.bluegrassstamper.com. If you need any supplies, I'd love to help you out with that. I would love to have your order um, so I can get more things to do more videos. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.